Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube series on tips for being a great stay-at-home, work-from-home mom. I am a Beachbody coach and I have been for one year and I also have a three-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old at home. None of them go to school. They're with me all day, every day, and I have had to fight my way through and struggle my way through learning how to be a good stay-at-home, work-from-home mom. And it hasn't been easy, but I have learned some fun tips along the way that have really made a big difference. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite ones. And today's tip is probably the most important one of all the tips that I've shared. Please go back and watch the other ones if you haven't yet. But today's tip is about the power of momentum and consistency. So I spoke in day one about setting business hours choosing times that you are going to work at your business and doing it every day. Even if it's just 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night, an hour a day, if that's all you can do, set that time aside and show up every single day. Because there's this illustration where you know those old water pumps and you have to like lift the handle and pump and pump and it's super hard at the beginning and you're not getting any water out. You have to like pump really, really hard for a sustained amount of time before the water actually starts coming up. Once it comes up and it comes out, then you don't have to pump so fast. You can kind of just like, like slow it down and you're getting into a rhythm and the water is flowing. And that's the power of momentum. When you're first starting out, it's a lot of hard work with like no results. But if you stop, like the water is slowly rising up but when you stop, it just kind of like falls back down. And then you have, a, like you have to start back from the beginning. So I see this a lot of times in uh, work from home moms is that they give it a good push, but it doesn't immediately yield results. And it's really hard, understandably, especially with small kids. And so they take a week off because they get burnt out. And they, or they take two weeks off and they really don't do anything for their business. And then they say, you know, I really should do something for my business. So they kind of start up again, but now they're having to start all the way back from step one. And they go hard for like a little bit and then a kid gets sick or something happens and they take another two weeks off and they don't do anything for their business. That is a business killer especially when you are a work from home mom and the entire success of your business is on your shoulders. If you don't do the work, nothing's going to happen. And so I know that this may seem maybe a bit overwhelming to you, but at the same time, the good news is that if you are consistent over time and it may be for a longer time than you feel is proper because we all get impatient. I know I get impatient and I think, I've been so consistent, when is this going to pay off? But if you are consistent over time, the momentum of that, of doing 30 minutes every day, even if the kids are sick, just keeping your eyes open for those 30 minutes after they're in bed and investing in your business, making a few calls, working on a blog post, reading some personal development and growing yourself as a leader, whatever it is that you know that you need to do to work on your business that day, if you spend just 30 minutes and that's all you can do but you don't miss a day, you don't let weeks go by without doing any work on your business, you're going to see that momentum come and that water is just going to pour out and then you can even throttle back a little bit and maybe take a day off because you've already got this momentum going. And so that is really my biggest tip for being a work from home mom is to do your best to work every single day. I usually take Sundays off, but actually it's a Sunday and I'm making this video. So do your very best to work consistently. Don't take long gaps off. Yes, life gets busy. Kids get sick. I totally, totally understand that. But if you can just push through and even just put 15, 20, 30 minutes into your business every day, I promise you, the momentum that that builds will end up being huge for you in the long run. So I hope that these tips have encouraged you and inspired you. I think you're amazing for even attempting to be a work from home mom. Already the burden of motherhood is incredible. 
And to add to that, doing some sort of work to bring in an income to build a business is is very um, is very taxing on a woman. I know it is for me. Um, but like I said in the video about finding your why and your reason why you're doing this, um, if you have that and you can see the vision of what this could mean for your family in two years, three years, four years, 10 years down the road, it's worth working for. I believe it is. And that keeps me going on those days when I just feel like I don't have it in me. I decide to do those 30 minutes and it has been just amazing for my business and for my family and for my goals. And I want to see you reach those goals. So I hope that these tips are encouraging to you. I hope that you are a better work from home mom because of them. I really do plan to do more of these in the future. I'm not just ending after this week. Um, if this was beneficial to you, I would love for you to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to connect with you. I really just, it's, it's one of my favorite things to talk with other work from home moms, other entrepreneurs. Um, there's just something special about you guys. And so I'd love for you to reach out to me. If you are interested or have questions about what I do as a beach body coach, it is, it's not for everyone, but it is an incredible opportunity. And I didn't think it was for me until I learned more about it. So I would really encourage you to learn more about it, to contact me, and I would love to chat with you about your specific dreams and goals and if this would be a good fit for you. My email address is in the notes. Send me an email. I read everything. And thanks again for watching. Bye.